Hello, welcome to Her Ideas. Today we are going to see how endless auto scroll animation works in Figma. So, I have taken a dummy website and I will show how these icons or logos can be made in a way that it goes endlessly over our website. So, I have selected all the logos. We need to co create a copy of all these logos and place it one more time and then align it. First, we need to ungroup it. Then, we need to align it to the previous logos we have. So we need to remove all the frames from the group. So we I grew, ungrouped it and then I aligned it one more time. So over here I have kept spacing of 95 pixels in between two logos. Now we need to check the width of landing page. For me it was 1002 pixel in order to use the same size for the frame which we are using for endless scroll. Then I just copy pasted the first frame and we need to align the logo of the first frame with the logo of the second frame which will come first. So I am aligning it over here as we can see in the video. We need to align it very precisely in order to make our animation look smoothless and seamless. Then we need to change the size of our frame to the size of our landing page that is 1002 pixel. Here's a tip, don't forget to clip the content so it goes seamlessly with the animation. I am adding a white box over here so you all can see it clearly how I am going to create a component. So step 1, select both the frames, then click on create component set. So we have a component ready over here. Now we are on the final steps of creating an endless animation. For that we need to click on prototype and then for the we need to connect the first frame to the second one so we need to change on click to after delay and then delay we need to change it to one millisecond and then we need to change animation to smart animate and duration to 10,000 milliseconds in the similar way we need to connect second frame to the first frame and in that we need to change on click to after delay then we need to change delay to 1 millisecond and smart animate to instant 
we can always experiment with the delays. So now we will add our component to the main frame. For that we need to click on asset and then we will get component 1 over here. So we need to add that to the landing page. We can do it like this or the other way is to click on that and insert it. And then we need to align it to the frame that is the landing page frame. Center align it. And experiment a little with the spacing according to brand guide. And ta da! Our animation is ready. For more such videos, like, share, and subscribe my channel.